Welcome boys and girls, this is how you make a toilet paper cannon. You can go online and uh, look up the design for a uh, potato gun, improvise it yourself. What you have here is you have your combustion chamber right here, a little tiny tube and a 4 inch barrel, which is usually about the size of a normal roll of toilet paper. And, uh, your design may look different than mine, the one that I made, just kind of improvised. And uh, basically you're going to get a big wad of paper. It's also called a sabot round. What it does is it keeps the pressure to push the loose round out. Let's maybe see, you see how some tough. I found that paper towels work. The piece of freezer paper on the back. This freezer paper doesn't seem to combust as easy as this paper does. It keeps some from flaming particles coming out of your cannon. Now, so give me just a second. I'll show you how to uh, fill and light. As you can see here, I have not only my cannon over here, but I also have a lighter with a duct tape seal on it. This helps whenever you're sticking in the back to uh, keep the gas pressure inside a little longer. So when you shoot it, it's a little easier. Aquanet hairspray. It works on aerosol. You can use any kind of aerosol as long as it's not a liquid, as long as it stays in a vapor. Um, I found that Aquanet actually, for some reason, works better than regular aerosol. Um, basically how this cannon works is you're going to take your cannon, you guys are going to kind of unscrew it. You see you got your combustion chamber. You can see I already got my wad in there. And basically what it gets, it gets about two seconds of the uh, Aquanet hairspray. You're just going to shake up the can like this. You're just going to you know, spray your aerosol up in there until you see gas coming out. But uh, only hold it for about two seconds so the oxygen can mix with the propellant properly. Otherwise you will not be able to ignite. Spray it. Put your lid back on. I put the gas inside. And ignite your lighter when ready. As you can see, this works better than a normal barbecue lighter technique because if your barbecue lighter, which is used for a barbecue pit, goes out, that's ten bucks. Whereas these cost about maybe a dollar or so at a dollar store. That costs about two dollars at the dollar store. And that's basically how you load your cannon. You uh, can either load a toilet paper roll or other things. I'm actually going to shoot a uh, almost empty roll of toilet paper. So, next step we'll show you what it looks like when sh shooting it. I'm going to show you really simply how to load and fill this cannon. I'm going to shake your aerosol as explained in the other video. Spread it see the gas come out. Cap it. Make sure the gas doesn't diffuse, diffuse in the outside air. Screw it on up where the cap is the most off. This will be my projectile. I'm just going to hold it in there like that. Hold my ladder. Iron the hole. There you have it, a toilet paper cannon, it can also shoot other things.